Wag, 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 wag. Wag, 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 wag. <laughs> Touch my booty. What's up guys, welcome back to our Digimon Let's Order, Let's Order, yeah, you know we're going with that, Let's Order, welcome back to our Digimon Let's Order next play, there you go, and this is quite frankly uh, the highlight of my day these days, um, now that I think about it, it's actually, I've been having so much fun playing through this game again, and uh, yeah, we're coming a long way, both of our guys, Alex and Finn, are age 15, if you guys need to catch up on that, we somehow managed to get through the Machine Drummond fight in the end of the last episode, and I say somehow, all we did really was use a bunch of recovery discs and a chunk of MP discs and we scraped our way through what was a very difficult and troublesome fight. But now the good news is that after all of this is that we actually have access to more of the map and a lot more Digimon are now available to us. So obviously Felicia is um, looking expanded again we've discussed this a couple of times but again if you're coming in after missing a few episodes or whatever then uh, that's what's going down. Yeah Felicia is a lot bigger. Let's talk to Vimon because we did actually collect a bunch of resources in the in the last few episodes and I don't know if we've been in here in a while. It is unlikely that we are able to upgrade. Oh, actually, I, I should eat my own words. Um, we actually have enough to do our first upgrade on the item shop. Now, do we want to do that? I don't think that our... Basically, my if I could choose to have any of these unlocked right now for free, um, it would probably be the field. Now that wouldn't be a clever pick because some of them are harder to upgrade like the training hall and obviously that would be a nice thing to like insta upgrade but you know the the field would be probably my number one priority just so we can get more food because if we get extra food and we don't use it or whatever then we can always sell it which is a great money making scheme. But then on top of that I would like to upgrade the item shop because it will hopefully give us access to you know medium recoveries rather anything but bar just small recoveries if I'm being honest because it is getting quite stressful just tossing out 100 small recoveries every battle. If we, could, we had access to better ones, that would be great. I just want to quickly peruse over some of the other ones, though, and make sure that that, that is actually the correct one that I want to choose. I think it is. Um, let's probably go for that. I don't think we need to spend too much to it. And you guys will actually see what happens when a building is undergoing um, an upgrade. So we'll leave that with Vmon for now and come back later on. And I think we could go exploring for a bit. Again, I'm not sure what we're going to be doing with our last few days with these two Ultimate Digimon. I think it's very, very difficult for us to get them to Megas. And I, again, these episodes have been recorded a bunch in advance, guys. So if you've been giving me feedback on the last few episodes, it's likely that the series is already a couple of episodes ahead. And so if you leave some um, comments or feedback or whatever, I might not be able to respond to it immediately. Um, because right now, I am in the past for you guys, but it's the future for me. Is that right? No. I, I don't know. I'm not a time wizard, but anyways, we'll come back to that later. My point is, um, if I'm not responding to comments and criticisms and feedback ASAP, it's because I'm a bit in advance. So, yeah, if you guys have been asking for Mega Digivolutions, you know, this is, this is my reasoning. This is, once again, my explanation why I don't think we will be able to manage it with these guys. It's just because the requirements right now are very high. We haven't done a lot of grinding with these two dudes um, other than early, earlier on, the fact that we stumbled into ultimate mode um, was a nice surprise for me. Not a surprise, because I thought it was achievable, but at the same time, I know that Megas are quite far away. I mean, looking at um, Alex here, he needs 7,000 HP in order to get to his Mega um, requirements, and right now he, is, he has only half of that at 4,000, so it just kind of gives you an, a, a glimpse into that. 
I'm sorry to keep rehashing some of these topics if you guys have been following the series, the series religiously. Um, but yeah, that's again, it's just things that I think about on a regular basis. Can I actually get into Mega? Can I not actually do that? Can we do this? Can we do that? And when I talk to you guys about it, it just helps me kind of plan a bit better. It helps me think things through a little bit better as well. So looking at our items, we have 3,000 bits. We could probably buy some more recovery discs just on the off chance that we need them. Our MP discs are absolutely fine at the moment. We're not going to be doing any big dirty battles any um, anytime soon, I don't think. Not before our guys pass away, but... Then again, like I said, we're about to go and explore. We're going to go and have a look around about some of the areas. There's so many parts to the game that we could actually go to at this point. But uh, yeah, let's actually just go and wander. We've already collected our meat for the day, our items. We did all of that in the last episode before we fought against Machine Ramon. So here we go. Mega Cavaterimon is still making this grunting noise, which is uh, extremely weird. I don't know if that is his death noise. You guys can't hear it because it's very quiet. Um, it'll be even quieter on YouTube, I think, but... Um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Alex is... I don't know if that's his normal noise. I, he he was doing this three days ago and he's still alive, so... Maybe I'm just... Um, I'm, I'm following in my footsteps yet again, but... Let's uh, let's have a quick peek as well. I hate stopping, guys. Honestly, I do. But I want to have a quick peek at our movesets because I'm pretty sure we also picked up a couple of moves uh, in the last few episodes as well that we never actually looked at. So let's go into Alex and have a peek here. It turns out that we actually picked up Electric Cloud in one of our previous fights. Um, we also picked up Fire... Oh, no, Fire Tower was ages ago. So, yeah, Electric Cloud. If we actually ping across to Finn, we can probably actually equip that. Electric Cloud is probably the strongest move available to Finn. So, actually, let's stick that on. We will put Electric... Oh, no, we can't. Okay, so Electric Cloud looks like it's only available to other types of Wind Digimon. It's actually not... Finn can't access it. I guess he's too much Dark type. Um, so, that's interesting. What we could actually do is... No, he's already got one cover. All right, all right, we're fine, guys. I just thought we, we now have access to uh, Electric Cloud, which is an extremely powerful move. It wasn't very powerful in Digimon World 1, but uh, it is in this game. Now, the problem with going and wandering in some of the different directions that we have available, guys, is that, you know, some of them are actually inaccessible right now. If we go into the desert, um, Finn's going to get ill. And if we go into the Logic Volcano, Alex is going to get ill. So, we're in a bit of a catch-22 at the moment where it's, you know, wherever we go, somebody's going to get sick, most likely. Um, it seems that Alex really doesn't like the Logic Volcano, whereas Finn can sometimes walk through the desert without getting sick at large, like, for large bits of time. Or, do we not have any mushrooms left? I don't think we do. Alright, fair dues. If we see any mushrooms, we'll be picking them up. Now, there's a ton of ways that we can go in this, in this episode, but I think we will probably head... In this direction, I think. I don't want to go along to Mod Cape and fight against any of those guys because I still honestly think that we're a bit underpowered to be kind of wandering around Mod Cape. It is, it is kind of like a tier above some of the other places that we have access to. Let's actually go down towards the step step part of the desert. I don't think we should have too much trouble with trouble with these got some on, but they might actually end up. Yeah, they do. Okay, interesting. So we're just going to head down this way and try and access some of the other parts of the map. I think that we could probably go and try and talk to Gargomon again and maybe some of the other Digimon that we have um, spoken to down here before. You know, some of the ones that haven't reacted. If we, if you guys need like a memory jog on what our current objective is in the game right now, all we're doing is actually going out and looking for more Digimon to join the city. So if I go into our Digimail, for example, um, the last message from Digimon is basically just telling us to uh, look for new residents. So that's exactly what we're going to be doing. Now again, I expect that soon our Digis will pass away, and I keep saying that, and they still keep hanging on by a thread, so who knows at this point, but I'm uh, I'm pretty sure that we could probably do one or two things before the end comes. We could also go back into there, um, into the cave, remember there is a Pidemon in there, but he is looking for a sick Digimon who is in Logic Volcano. Now I really want to avoid Logic Volcano if I can, because... Again, Alex really, really doesn't like it. Every time he goes in, we're in there for like a minute, probably, and then he gets sick. And every time he gets sick, we have to use a bandage or medicine. Uh, and that sucks, because those items are expensive and hard to come by uh, on their own. Now, I do want to go up there and talk to Gargamon. Um, not Gar Gargamon, it's actually Mac... Is it Mac Leomon? I don't know. But we're going to try and get up to this guy anyway. If we could dodge past some of these battles, that would be awesome. I forgot yet again about the pitfalls in this area, which is just fantastic. 
So I don't know how we can get past these guys without falling down the holes as well, but we're going to try. We might end up in a fight against eight of them at once, but at the same time, I think we could just ball it right through the middle. Now, as long as there's not a hole here, we should be fine. Okay, we end up in a battle with three. This could be... Haha, <laughs> okay. Should I be scared, guys? I think I should be. We have very little MP. I really wanted to avoid this. This is what you get, guys. See, when you try and, uh, when you try and cut things out, this is what happens. We are going to try and punch our way through this fight very, very quickly. Um, we might end up taking a lot more damage. We might even have to waste some of our recovery items, which I really don't want to do. Um, so I'm just going to spam some items. This is what I was talking about a minute ago, guys, with the... Uh, what I'm going to do here is actually make... Um, where's my buttons? Holy shit, Jack. There we go. I'm going to I'm gonna make him defend as soon as I can. Uh, I still can't make you defend for some reason, and I don't know why. So we're just going to keep throwing recovery items. This is why it would be better to have access to more important recovery items, so that I don't have to spend every single fight of my life doing this. Uh, I want to throw a recovery disc at you before you die, because that's about to happen. Let's actually just make you block because that's what I wanted to do a second ago and we didn't have access to that. I'm going to throw more recovery items at you and hopefully at the same time here Finn's actually doing some sort of damage. I don't I don't know. Let's use wind cutter because it is AoE and these guys are all together and we could also use spin attack as well if we have the mana for it. Can you do that please Ale uh, Finn? Alex? Alex Finn? Busy, a busy fight guys but we're almost there. We just need to uh, get through a little bit more. It looks like our boy Alex here is a likely to go down. Yeah, he does. Okay, so that's fine. We have we have regen discs, which I didn't want to waste in a silly fight like this, but it's likely that we pick up some decent um, recovery items for this fight as well. We are almost through these two guys, so I'm just going to use Finn to do... I'm going to tell Finn to do Nightmare. Alex, can you get a spin attack off? This is not his most powerful move, but it is AoE after all. Uh, I need to be throwing... MP items at both our guys. Sorry, I'm talking and I'm uh, concentrating at the same time, folks. So uh, this might, might might seem a little bit... Uh, I, it sounds like there's a lot of gobbledygook coming out of my mouth right now, but it's fine. Uh, if we can get through this, we will be absolutely fine. Now, before this fight ends, I, I want to make sure we throw another recovery at Alex here because I really don't want him to finish this fight with an injury. And knowing our luck, if his HP is not high enough, that will definitely be a possibility. So here we go. Luckily, the... The Mac um, Leomon, what is, it, what is his name? I don't know, we'll find out in a minute. But the Leomon at the top of the hill, hopefully he doesn't uh, he doesn't fight us, um, if I remember co correctly. I just want to interact with him and find out what it is he's got to say to us now that we've actually beat a, a Machine Dramon. Now, it might be likely that he says nothing to us. We might actually not have progressed far enough, but I'm pretty sure that he's going to talk to us and give us something um, to say, something new. So here we go. Here's our stats for this fight. It's actually abysmal. Obviously, we fought against three of these guys at once, which was a massive mistake, and it's not what I wanted. I was trying to cheese the game and get through the middle, but at the same time, we still end up with an injury here, which really actually sucks, in all honesty, but it is what it is. I don't know if it's Finn or... Well, it is actually Finn, so I should have maybe been healing him up as well. Let's go into our, our items real quick. Now, Finn, do we have any more bandages? We don't, but we've got a medicine. Now, this really... This really sucks to waste this, but I honestly can't be bothered going back to the side. So we are just going to throw this at Finn. We're going to give our back guys two recovery items, or one recovery item each. Give them some MP in case we end up in another battle. But honestly, I would love to get to this uh, Grapliumon, that's his name, before these Garurumon get in the way of us. So if they actually run away, that would be perfect. I just want to charge through the, through the middle here. Can you just not? This is interesting. I don't think there's any more... Uh, holes up here. I think we've passed all of the, the pitfalls that we can fall into. Oh my god, you guys are really... You guys are really putting me through my paces right now. Um, Alright, let's... Uh, do we have... Please, do, uh, we do. We've got two porta boys. Alright, fine. <laughs> Holy moly. There's so much in this game, guys. So much going on at once, and when you're trying to focus on one objective, obviously everything and their grand gets in the way, but... Alright, let's go for it. It looks like these two boys have split. I'm going to keep over this way, and then I'm going to pull back across... I really don't want to fight against two of you guys at once, so if I could speak to this Leomon, that'd be fantastic. So here's Grap Leomon. You're a human, are you? They call me Grap Leomon. I'm currently undergoing my training here. Sorry, but I don't have time to shoot the breeze with you. I'm sure you've got something to take care of yourself. So it looks like, even though we've came all this way, Grap Leomon actually can't interact with us just yet. And we're in a battle with two Black Garurumon, who we definitely can't defeat at this point in time. I am pretty sure. Um, 
this is a fight that honestly I want to run away from, which we haven't done at this point in the series, but it's just... Oh, God's sake, what a clusterfuck. Alright, okay, so what I'm actually going to do here, guys, is for the first time, is we're actually going to flee from this battle because these guys will absolutely destroy us. You saw last time when we fought against one how hard it was to defeat them, and if we were to try and stay and fight it out, which I enjoy doing, we would use all of our recovery items. So it sucks that we came all this way to talk to Grap Leomon and he actually won't do anything with us, but I don't think that is a fight we want to take. Now, if we look at our Digibond right now, it hasn't suffered too much. We lost five points between us and our Digimon. And the bond between Finn and Alex has dropped like seven. Which, uh, uh, seven or eight, which is really kind of shitty. But at the same time, it is what it is. We haven't actually f fled from a battle at all in this series. So it had to happen at some point. I guess it's fine that it happened just now. Let's uh, leave this area for now and uh, and come back later. Can we talk to, can we interact with Mega Cabotaramon here yet? Yeah. What happened? Did you fall down a hole? The entire area is covered in holes I dug. Alright, okay. So it looks like he can't do anything just yet. So let's leave him. And uh, and come back later. We'll pop across to the other side of the desert and, and nip in here. Because I'm pretty sure that we will be able to... Uh, we should be able to interact with the other guy that's in here. Whose name begins with a G. And I forgot. Are you guys going to fight us as well? Really? This game, dude. I'm telling you, the fatter your Digimon get, the, the harder the game gets. There's a a direct correlation between the fatness of your Digimon and uh, your the difficulty of the game. Now, what I should really be doing is telling both our guys to conserve mana, but they're actually already doing that. I think a, a large part of our problem in this game has been that the fact that I've been putting on too expensive moves. Moves that cost too much mana to use, and uh, it's negatively impacting our playing experience. I have to spend every battle throwing MP items. And, uh, and it really sucks, so do you know what? Let's actually cut this shit out and actually uh, and fix that right in this moment in time because I can't be bothered with this anymore. It's too painful. We could also maybe put the Tabor Points in to recover MP when we are running about as well, guys. That would, if we get enough Tamer Points, that's maybe something we can look at next. But let's go into our partners and actually fix this because it's actually getting really, really annoying. Let's take off Rootbind uh, because we're unlikely to be fighting against any tough enemies uh, at the moment so what we'll do is I'll put spin attack up the top and we will put poison powder on there so again this is going to be oh my god please um this is going to take it's going to give us a, a large cut to our power in these fights but it just seems necessary so we'll put on blackout and wind cutter two smaller moves and uh, hopefully this will maybe help things a little bit because these fights we don't it's not like we're um you know the random fights that we bang into like the Numamon and things like that Obviously, the powerful moves help in those fights, but really, your power level in this game comes a lot from being able to push your order button and gain order points quickly so that you can cast moves for free. But if you don't have energy to use moves in the first place, you won't get any order points other than the spam ones that you click, and uh, obviously, that's not good enough for us. So here we are in the Tower Road section of the map. I do want to talk to this guy here. Um, let's rem give me a, a quick reminder game what this guy's name actually is. Gargamon, okay, of course, I know it began with a G, but he, the name's Gargamon, you're a, hum a human, I said that last time, you're a human, I never thought I'd meet a human in a hot spot like this, it's dangerous, so keep your distance, and yet again, we can't actually interact with this dude either, so it seems like for now, in the in the server desert at least, um, none of these guys are interactable with, now I could have fled the, fled from this area, but I actually wanted to fight against the Shamamon and see actually how much stats we can get from him once we beat him, now it would be nice to actually land some of our abilities first of all, but at the same time, here we go. Can we get a boost off? Yeah, we do. That's very nice. I don't think this guy's going to be too much of a problem for us. If I can time this properly again, that would be great. There we go. Can we actually do some of our moves? I think we'll just... Yeah, we are going to be able to just kill this guy ASAP. So, is that in range? That's not going to be in range, is it? Wow. Jack, please. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> this is the first episode of the day, guys. There's going to be... um weird ones like this where I just play like I am a fucking blindfolded monkey but um yeah it is what it is let's use Cedramon's move here we actually have his limit break which is evil icicle why don't we use this on this poor Shamamon 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 little green guy with the bone club it's actually quite a cool finisher if you ask me but here we go yeah we get <laughs> holy shit this is woeful as all balls all right interesting so we came all this way for an attack plug-in to get our asses absolutely destroyed from uh, three Jeremon and also to run away and lose points on our Digibonds. 
I, I wouldn't say this is the most successful episode we've had. I swear to God, dude, if you come anywhere fucking near me, don't you do it. Don't you do it, you little bastard. Hi. That's what I thought. All right. Holy shit, man. Do you know what, guys? I'm starting to actually think that it might actually be refreshing to get two brand new Digimon and to actually just train them up properly from scratch because that definitely will be something that we can do moving into the next part of the game and uh, I think it will be refreshing. As much as I love um, Finn and Alex, they have done super well. I think it will be nice to, you know, carry on their legacy, if you like, in our next two Digimon who will hopefully be much much stronger and when we run through all these areas we're going to be so strong hopefully that all of these digimon that are giving us trouble right now that bang into us and you know cause us problems they will all you know skedaddle out of the way because they will just sense our fucking power level like they're a fucking like they're wearing one of the super saiyan scanners you know and they'll just run away so we won't have to worry about fights and and running away from battles all the time Anyways, here we are once again in the hallowed hall part of Sever Desert. I do want to pop along to Logic Volcano very quickly. Again, there is a chance that one of our dudes and Alex get sick. Are you going to catch us? Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Don't you? I'm running in a straight line. You can't catch me. You can't catch me. All right, cool. Now, we might end up walking in here and then getting sick immediately, which would um, kind of suck, in all honesty. But, you know... There is a couple of sick Digimon in here, and there are large parts of the volcano that we haven't explored yet. If we get sick, it doesn't matter too much. We can always autopilot back to the city. I believe we have an autopilot. Uh, I'm, I'm just saying that off the top of my head, but who knows? Let's go in here real quick and find out. I think the only progressing, the, prog the only progressive thing we've done this episode so far has been to upgrade our item bank. I think that's the only good thing we've done. All right, apparently there's a sick Digimon in here. I don't think it's this little guy here, is it? He's just, uh, he's just telling us. You're back, don't tell me here just now, blah, blah, blah. So he's going to obviously give us the tour. We've done all this before. I just wanted to see if this guy would react differently. But uh, yeah, it looks like he's still the same. Okay, so now that we have access to, well, we don't really have more access, but there is a sick Digimon in here, as we have said. If we could find him quickly, that would be great. I could be running in the complete opposite direction, and in all honesty, I probably am. I can't see anyone close by but at the same time i'm trying to be quickly here please please don't get knocked into us please don't please don't don't sh don't don't okay we're fine i think we're fine interesting okay we're in the garbage pile you guys have never been in here before in this playthrough you might have seen it before if you've played the game by yourselves but this is quite a nice area it's just more extension uh, or more extension of fire and all of that jazz i did not think you were going to ag ag aggro onto us and I don't want to fight you, Bomber Nanimon. I really don't. Not right now. Bergemon, we could probably fight. Are we going to fight you on our own? Yeah. Okay, cool. This gives us a bit of room to breathe, guys, rather than just chaining a bunch of uh, ugly fights in a row. Because, you know, if we had ran, kept running down the hill, we would have probably banged into the next Bergemon. I don't know what Finn's doing right now, but he seems to be um, banging it in and out. I, I don't know what that was. There is a big, sexy fire move. Let's use some recovery items here. And we'll probably use our last two MP discs as well. I really should be paying attention to our uh, limit breaks in this game, guys. Especially seen as, especially seen as Alex is close to his limit break. If I can time this properly, which I I don't, but at the same time we should be fine here. I think we're going to get it. Here's Hornbuster, guys. All right, another messy fight yet again. You think I'd be getting better at this, but at the same time, all I'm trying to do is kind of push through these fights. I'm pretty sure our sick Digimon that we're looking for is off to the other side of the map, but at the same time, we'll come in here anyway. Let's just use uh, Blackout on this Bergemon and try and finish him off before... Okay, that was not in range, and please don't go down here. I'm, I'm looking at Finn, and I'm just thinking this bitch is going to go down. Let's use Blackout again, hopefully in range this time. It's not enough to kill Bergemon. Um, if we Do we have any more stuff? Yeah, I think this should be able to reach... Yeah, we get them. Okay, let's find out. I'm not ex I'm not excited about these kind of stats, but yeah, okay. So, again, sucky stats. Bergemon does a lot of damage, uh, especially in his big AoE move. Um, and both our guys are injured, which uh, really sucks. All right. I guess it was a, it was an ambitious... It was, holy shit. It was, an, it was ambitious to come into the Logic Volcano with no items. Uh, and also, our guys also kind of been in the, in the condition that they are, you know, not fully... MP'd up and all that jazz. 
got a bunch of tamer points though, which is kind of cool. Let's head through to the clinic. We're going to feed our guys. We're going to buy some bandages. Hopefully it heals us. Hopefully we can afford the bandages. And, uh, and then we'll take it from here. I just wanted to do a bit more exploring with these guys. If we could have won a couple of battles and maybe earned a bit of money, that would be great. Obviously, that's kind of counterintuitive right now because... Oh god, we've run out of meat. Okay, fantastic. Let's give these guys... Let's give these guys an obscure onion each and see how this works out. Because we will probably end up just training the rest of this day away. So, um, that did not fully satisfy them, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's give them another obscure onion and hope to God that this makes them happy. Uh, please? Okay, completely full. And our strength training is up. Okay, let's talk to Cubimon right now. Can we afford two bandages? Of course we can. Hopefully, this uh, solves our problems. And then we can just train up. Again... I'm kind of just, uh, I'm not as focused with these kind of guys at this stage now anymore, folks. Because if there was things that I wanted to accomplish, both are injuries have healed, that's quite good. If I was desperate to fight um, a certain battle or beat a certain Digimon, then obviously I would be training these guys up, saving up on items and charging for that spot. But at the same time, I think that these guys are honestly kind of, you know, they've almost plateaued. I don't think they're going to get any stronger than they are at this point. Which, again, some of you guys might disagree with, but that's absolutely fine. You know, we're allowed to have different thoughts on the matter. Um, and, yeah, I think that at this stage, we're just kind of taking it easy. We're gaining any tamer points that we can. We're gaining any extra stats, I guess, or money. And just trying to kind of, you know, ease these guys into retirement because I think that's the way that it's going. Let's have a look here. What could we put into Alex and Finn? Now, MP re remains a massive problem, so why don't we actually just train up a bit of the old MP for both these guys? And we'll give Alex a bit of extra HP as well. Again, we don't really have to be focusing on this too much. I really would be surprised if one of our guys digivolved right now. But here we go, guys. So this is it. This is it for sure this time. Did, do you see that noise that Alex actually made there where he kind of hung his head and started breathing heavily? That is finally the symptoms that our ultimate Digimon are actually passing away. See this? That is, uh, that is the indication that Alex is actually coming to the end of his life. So... Um, yeah, it is what it is. I think that if he if he survives the rest of the night, he will probably pass away when we go to sleep. Now, what is probably going to end up happening, knowing our luck, is that Finn is going to last a little bit longer than Alex. Um, but who knows? It, it might be the case that we are running about with a baby and a, an ultimate Digimon, and if that's the case, then we might have to do a bit of a, a bit of shuffling for a little while until Finn catches back up in his baby form. We'll just see how it goes. Uh, you guys look like you're both tired, I think, so let's rest an hour and then put you guys to sleep. And then I think there is a strong, strong possibility that we will be saying goodbye to Alex in the morning. So, you've done well, my friend. You've done super well. Um, we're very proud of you. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. We're sitting wishing this guy away on his deathbed and he might not actually be dead yet. Let's find out. Yeah, here we go. So, Alex, you had a real adventure. He was super good, super, super good. Don't get depressed, your partners can be reborn. Now, I actually haven't really thought up a new nickname for this guy yet, and I haven't actually considered what egg we're going to take, but let's have a look at some of these options, guys, because what you'll find sometimes is when you hang, when you hover over a new egg, it actually tells you down in the bottom left that um, one of the stats of the prior Digimon has passed on into this egg. So, do you know, here it looks like they're just going to be reborn healthy, reborn healthy, but then when we come onto this egg, it says that, hmm, it seems that their speed might be a little bit better than last time. So that's something that you want to consider when picking your eggs, guys, because sometimes there is actually a benefit. I mean, this one here seems that strength might be a little better than last time, so that's definitely something to consider. So I think that, honestly, we might use this to help us... Um, Help us choose who we're going to take. We could either take this nice kind of cloudy coloured egg. I can't remember what this Digimon's called, but we're going to find out soon. Or we could probably go for this one here and the strength. Now, honestly, speed and strength are two of my favourite attributes. Obviously, the faster you can attack and the more, the more damage you do basically calculates your total damage. So I'm not really sure which one I which one I want. I think that we kind of had a speedy Digimon last time. So I'm tempted to pick this egg here and, and take this one. Later on, guys, again, what I think we will probably do is end up putting straw poles up and you guys can choose which egg we we pick. But for now, I'm just going to keep going because, again, all these episodes have been recorded in advance. You guys have no idea that the Let's Play is on at this point because I haven't even released episode one. But, uh, yeah, here we go. Later on, you guys will have a say, I think. But for now, I'm just going to keep uh, solo on it 
and assume that you guys are with me in spirit. So here we go. So Alex has moved on to this small, he goes from the very grand Hercules Cabotemon back to Zerimon, this little cute guy with a little tail. Now do we want to remain or rename this guy? I think we should give him a new nickname but I haven't really thought off the top of my head what I'm going to call this guy. Let's actually just call this guy, you know what, I think it's kind of fitting. Um, let's call this guy Joe. <laughs> Not in caps. Let's call this guy Joe. Awesome. Alright. So Joe is now born into the uh, into the team. And luckily for us, I say luckily for us, but it's actually kind of rough. Um, obviously it looks like Finn is uh, close to passing away as well. So it looks like we are actually going to get two brand new Digimon together. The cycle is going to be nice and tight. I wonder before Finn actually passes away, do we have enough Tamer points to put in any important places? Now I'm thinking about this one down here, which obviously would benefit the rebirth um, because our Digimon are just starting their life cycle again. This would benefit us, but uh, we need 10 points for it. It's very expensive. We only have six, so we don't have to worry about that. I don't think that there's anything else we can put into early game that would benefit us right now. Um, I guess our Digimon are never sad, so anything that boosts happiness doesn't really seem... Uh, that important this one could be good but i think we should also just save up for this one here which we can actually get very very soon uh, this will let us gather back our mp soon as well when we're running about so pretty cool all right let us just uh, ignore that for now have we talked to koromon medicine recovery and an mp disc fine absolutely fine <laughs> finn's gonna keep making that noise until he until he moves on to the the next realm shall we say but uh yeah Let's go to the fields real quick. We'll gather our meat for the day. And then I think what we will end up doing is probably just training in the gym a tiny smidge. Palmon, we harvested eight meat, which is fine. Can we train in or can we improve the fields right now? Yeah, let's do this. This is going to be a good way for us to kind of progress the game without doing just solo training and also benefiting us later. Um, Finn's still going. Can we do the fields again? No, they're at max capacity. All right, okay. So what we're going to do, guys, is probably just go... All the way up to the gym, the, the old training hall of, of love here, and probably train until we pass enough time for Finn to pass. Again, any stats we can get here would be kind of cool, so let's, I don't think it matters. Maybe we can even rest Finn at this stage because he's he's done so well. For Joe, on the other hand, we have uh, Joe's new stats, which you guys can't see, I apologise. Joe starts with 800 HP, 800 MP, which is quite good, uh, and 100 of the other stats, which is pretty good as well. Now, he has a lot of strength, because that's what the egg told us, he was going to get a boost in strength, so we really don't really, we don't need to be putting him too much time in there. Let's put him actually in the speed category, and uh, also, another good thing here is that Joe will get a boost, because Finn, even though he is about to pass away, and making this fucking hideous noise in my ear... Um, oh god, that was a that was a sad one to miss. Holy shit! Um, he will actually be able to give Joe a boost. I really wish Finn would shut up at this stage, but it's fine. Can you guys? You guys are a bit off center. Why don't you come a little bit closer? There we go. Um, okay. And with that, Finn passes as well. Interesting. Very interesting, guys. This was a this was almost like a filler episode. Um, maybe I will title title this episode as filler because all we have done in progressing our storyline was upgrading the item shop so i think that's what i'll do obviously it's quite important because we have now reset both our digimon but i think what we will do is oh wait a minute that wasn't even finn passing away that was actually just our first digimon digifoffin <laughs> holy shit so joe's actually already storming ahead let's have a look at joe here he is now gummymon he is in training level two his weight is seven and his stats have actually went up quite a bit um, his strengths went up 20, for example. His speeds went up a little chunk as well. Um, 10, actually, in his wisdom. I mean, he gets a little boost. Gets 100 stats in HP and MP as well. But Joe, man, look at him. He's a little cutie. All right, let's have a look at Joe real quick, actually. Um, if I can actually find the buttons properly. Sorry, guys. History, Joe. Let's have a look at Joe's options. He can go into Terriermon, Toy Agamon, Clear Agamon, Hagurumon, or Galmon. So, interesting. We actually get these uh, requirements available to us, which I, I didn't expect. Why is that a thing? I'm not sure why we can see all these. Maybe this is always the case for Rookie Digimon. I'm not sure. But anyways, we have Joe and Gummy Mom. We have a lot of cool options available to us. So whatever this guy goes into, I think will be kind of cool. Knowing our luck, it's going to be the Toy Agamon. But I mean, if that's, a, if that's a thing that happens, then, you know, it is what it is. All right. I guess we could also work towards certain stats. But at the same time, um, we're not that bothered. Gal Galmon would be pretty cool. 
Um, it looks like we're already um, available to hit into Hagoromon and Clear Agamon, not Toy Agamon, no. Alright, maybe we can put up our stamina with Joe. We'll train Joe on stamina and that'll make him move towards Galmon. I don't know if we want that in particular, but at the same time, it could be a thing. Um, and yeah, we'll, we'll keep resting Finn. It doesn't make sense to rest Finn, honestly. You want to keep pushing up these stats as high as possible. But at the same time, it doesn't it doesn't really matter. We'll give him a break. He's done super well. If we can get the training square this time, I would love it. So, here we go. We land it this time, which is nice. And uh, it looks like Joe gets a nice boost as well here. Can we get stamina up to 200? I think we might be able to. Although we do now lose our boost in the fact that Finn has passed away. So, uh, yeah. Our second ultimate to go. Um, I'm kind of sad, guys, in all honesty. But, you know... He done a great job and I'm super pleased with his results. Let's have a quick peek at Finn's egg here and uh, and have a look. We have an option to go into this Digimon because stamina is going to be improved for next time, which is quite important. Um, MP, again, that is the same Digimon as that we've just picked though, so it wouldn't make sense to have two of those eggs, I don't think. So we can go for this one for extra stamina. Um, and is that the only one? Oh no, we've got extra speed in this Digimon here. This kind of Voltorb looking like orb. That's what I always think about when I see this egg. Uh, and I think that's... Oh no, we could also go Tanamon again for speed. So we have three options here realistically. Or even Coromon. Wow, we actually have a lot of things. I think that we should either pick, pick the purple egg, which is this one. Or I think that we should pick this one here for speed. Now, do we go Voltorb or do we go for... Stamina. We never we never actually really had a stamina kind of tanky Digimon last time. So why don't we pick this little guy here? I think this is the right choice, but again, later on in the series we will be able to pick all these eggs. Bloody bloody blast. So yeah, here we go. Back to our fresh set of digis. Just what I was saying earlier on in this episode. We get our two guys back to the start and uh, yeah, I'm I'm intrigued to see where this will go. Now what I will probably do is digivolve this Poemon up one level so that he is uh, on the same level as Joe now is uh, and that will kind of keep us a, a, a good baseline for the next episode so let's call this guy I'm not sure what we're going to call this this digi um, let me think we've, I'm trying to think of all the Digimon that we've already called in the past but let's just call this guy Sam here we go so we've got Joe and Sam Two, uh, two nice little cuddly digis and all is well. Okay, so as I said a minute ago, let's uh, nip up to the training hall. If we get more than one training session off here with our with Sam being in his baby mode, I would be super surprised. Um, but let's see anyway. So Joe, again, we were training you on stamina, so we will keep you over there, my friend. And then Sam, in your new form, you already have high stamina as well. In fact, you have more stamina than... Joe does, even though he's digivolved at the stage, which is interesting enough. Sam, you could do with some extra HP, I think, so let's do it. Let's do things this way. We will lose a training square by doing this, but at the same time, if we can't hit one of these ones that's already there, then I don't know what to say. We get a massive boost to Sam's HP, which is nice, and we can feed these guys as well. Let's see, remember guys, that we will be now imprinting food onto these dudes again as well, so whatever we use here is likely to be the, the favourite food of choice. Joe apparently doesn't like this item, but that's absolutely fine. We will have to go through some of this again where we train up our discipline and things like that. But honestly, this is one of the things I like about the game. So, Joe really didn't like that and Sam didn't... Uh, it didn't look like Sam got a boost of happiness there either, which is fine. Let's do another training session and I think this will take Sam into his next stage. And uh, yeah, that'll be a good spot for the episode to be wrapped up. So if we take all this, do we see a Digivolution here? Yes, we do. Perfect. Absolutely perfect, guys. So, this will be the end of this episode. I think we will start refresh and start our planning and what we're going to be doing with our new digis at the start of the next episode. Again, I will title this episode Filler so that, you know, some of you guys don't have to sit through it all and I will do a kind of brief catch-up at the start of the next episode. So, uh, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been quite a weird episode. We we done, we made even more mistakes than, again, we've been making it over the past few episodes. We fought against battles. We, we should really have been fighting etc etc but we also said goodbye to Finn and to Alex and now we have Joe and Sam and I am very pleased with the way I will with these guys Digivolution and I think that they will go on to be even stronger in fact I know they will go on to be even stronger than our last two and carry on their legacy and make them proud and all that good stuff so if you guys have been enjoying the series again I say all this normal stuff at the end but feel free to leave me a rating feel free to leave me comments do whatever you guys want and I will see you in the next part of our Digimon Let's Play 
where uh, God knows where we'll be getting up to and who we're going to become. So see you then. Take care. Bye. Thank you.